Hello, Jason here. And in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, why would you need a septic tank pump? So believe it or not, that's a very popular question. What is a septic tank pump and why would you need one? Well, let me answer that question for you. So here we've got a septic tank and it looks like any other concrete septic tank. It's rectangular in shape and it's full of poo and other stuff. But what you'll notice here is the location of the septic tank. You'll notice that it is below where the soak away is going to be. So let me put another angle here. So there we go. So this is quite a common problem many people face. Their septic tank is lower, right, than where their soak away is. So that is the main reason why you would need a septic tank pump. So that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Septic tanks can't pump up. They can't defy the law of physics. So the next question is, how does a septic tank pump work? Well, let me show you. OK, so here we go. We've got our septic tank here. So now the first thing that you would do is on the outlet side of the septic tank, you would put what's called a pump chamber. They're, I suppose, roughly the size of a wheelie bin. And if I just zoom in a bit closer there, then once you've put that there, the next thing that you'd put in is your pump. OK, and so some pumping chambers come with um, pumps pre-installed. Other pumping chambers are empty and you'd have to get your own pump, say from Screwfix, something like that. Now, once you've done that, next thing you do is connect a pipe. So if you notice here, you've got the outlet pipe coming into the pumping chamber and then you've got this green hose pipe which leaves the pumping chamber. So let me pan out a bit to show you here. There we go. That's a bit better. OK, so there you go. You've got an aerial view now. So there's the septic tank. There's the pumping chamber and there's the pipe going to the herringbone soak away. So now if we go back down to ground level here, let me just let me just do that. Hold on. Let me work out how to get back down to ground level. There we go. Let me show you how it works. So waste from the septic tank will make its way into the pump chamber. OK, now you'll notice down that at the bottom, if I just remove the water again, you'll notice there's an arm here. Now, this is the float switch and that's in its normal position. It's off, right? Now, when the water comes in, the float switch rises and that kicks, tells the electronic circuitry in there, tells the pump to engage, to kick in, right? And so the pump kicks in and the water from the chump paper, uh, pump chamber is pushed out right towards the soak away. So now if we go back up to our aerial view here, the water then makes its way up, th up through the green pipe there. And then the water makes its way through the herringbone system and will look something like that. And so once the water comes out, it then is distributed into the gravel and then that will just drain naturally away into the soil. So that's basically how um, that's basically why you need um, a septic tank pump. And that's basically how a septic tank pump works. So septic tank pumping chambers, they can come in all range of different sizes and shapes and prices. Typically, they cost anywhere from 700 to a thousand pounds for for like a one to two bedroom house. But the point is, that may seem a lot of money up front, uh, but it, it's 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 a hell of a simple solution to a very complex problem. And you've got to look at that thousand quid that you're going to spend out on a pump chamber as an investment. And typically a pump chamber, something like that will last you somewhere in the region of, I would say, um, five, six, seven years, depending on what pump you buy. Now, some people buy really expensive pumps that can cost, um, I don't know, if an egg, anywhere up to 5,000 quid. But what's interesting is that these pumps only come with a year's warranty. So whether you've paid £75 for a pump or £5,000 for a pump, they all come with a year's warranty. So my advice to you would be 
to just get you know a middle of the range system that's not a thousand quid maybe isn't 75 quid but somewhere in between okay so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today i hope that's answered your question and i hope that's helped if you'd like to see more uh, videos of solutions to septic tank problems then go on to google and type in septic tank tv you'll see uh, my septic tank tv channel there or you can go to septictank.co.uk if you need a pump chamber and you can get one from there as well as other things that we sell so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today you take care and i'll see you soon for more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.